I love fall. Fall is my favorite season. You can wear all these cozy sweaters, drink some hot cocoa, warm yourself up, fucking have some pumpkin spice lattes. You see all the leaves changing colors. It's an amazing time. But I also think that fall is a season that brings about a huge amount of change and a huge amount of life changing and loss as well. I feel as though part of me thinks that we are kind of in tune with nature in that way. And for me, this has happened a few years back, but a lot of my friends or people that I know currently are going through these huge like life changes, either like the loss of people or even like getting married or even like just a bunch of life changes and I feel as though that could bring about a lot of sadness and depression and um, worry and anxiety but for me fall is such a huge representation of just shedding back your past life or even like your past year and just letting that go letting all of that shit fucking go and letting it die, all of those parts of you, all of those parts of you that you've built throughout the year, things that you're not happy with, things that you're insecure about, things, anything, and just watching it just fall and get taken away by the wind. I always make my manifestations or things that I want to achieve for the year or my goals or whatever, I always do them in the fall. I never do them at New Year's because I feel like New Year's is just like a fake, (laughs) a fake holiday. Okay. Oh, let's just, just, let's just decide on this day that a new year comes about and let's make it all about everybody needing to make their goals. For me, it's fall. Fall brings about that desire, that need, or, or that feeling within me that says that it's time to let go of everything. And I think that's why fall brings about the most amount of change in our lives. I feel like as though we are connected to nature in some way, form, or or fashion, depending on what you believe in, whether you abide by the notion of religion or spirituality. I think that there is evidence that our souls are connected to nature in some way. And on this season it's where the leaves start to die these and the trees let go of all of these leaves that held them going throughout the summer and sheds them and builds throughout the winter just to rebuild again and again and again and it's the cycle of life and every fall i do the same thing and i sit around and I think about all of the things that I want to achieve and it's such a beautiful thing to be able to change ourselves in this way it's such a wonderful thing to just be one with with nature it's such a wonderful thing to know that you are in control of your own life and yes, do things happen around us that we cannot control that brings us a ton amount of of suffering, of despair? Yeah, of course. Of course it does. It brings a huge amount of change and challenges within ourselves. But these changes and these challenges come to us to show us, for us to experience, so we can change, so we can be better, so we can live life because just like the trees we grow and we lose and we grow and we lose and we go through losses and we change and we go through losses again and again and again and again and sometimes does that bring a lot of anxiety and stress and and worry yeah of course obviously but what a wonderful thing to be alive to be able to witness all of these things So I think fall does bring about those things, those worries, those huge, ginormous changes, either for the good or for the bad. 
that bring about challenges that you have to face, that you need to face in order to survive in this life. And these challenges are what make you who you are. Whether they're fair or unfair or good or bad or whatever, they make you, they make me who we are. And sometimes I, I sit there and God, like I look at the leaves and just how beautiful it is. The way that they change colors only to just fall and die just to start again. And I like to think that that just means that all of the things that we let go of are all beautiful things or have been beautiful things. But it is time to let them go. It's time to accept that life starts again, that you have the choice to start again, that you can start again, that you have the freedom to start again. And all of those things that have held you back this year or last few years or your whole life, you could take fall as a time to just reflect that all of these leaves you grew, it's okay to let them go. That doesn't mean that they're not beautiful. You can look at all the shit you've been through and you have the choice on which perspective you can look at them from. You can look at them as, oh, this was a beautiful experience that I experienced. And that, what a wonderful thing to be alive, to have experienced this immense amount of suffering. Or you can look at it with resentment and hatred. And then you hold that within you. You get to choose. And no other, no option is good or bad. But... I like to take fall as a representation of letting go of all the fucked up shit I held throughout the year and start something new. I think that's why so much change happens in the fall. Like everybody's just going through shit. Things are happening. People are losing people. People are getting married. People are having kids. Like, like everything just tends to happen around these times. And that's just the beauty of life, that we could just grow new leaves whenever we want. And I think that that's just a, such a beautiful thing about fall. And it gives me kind of a sense of bittersweetness, almost. I like to look at it as though it's meant to be. And as though it's the cycle of life. And life continues. And you grow new leaves. And let go of those. And you grow them again. And you let go of those too. And you can look at it as a good thing. It's a wonderful thing. It's a thing that's part of life. Or look at it as a bad thing. And say to yourself, man, why the fuck <laughs> would I go through this again and again? Because we're alive. And if the trees go through it, then we go through it. Because I think that we are one with nature. A little bit. A lot of it. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't know if this video made any sense or, I don't know, maybe I, I sound like I'm high or something. I'm not. I swear. I just... <laughs> I've been having a kind of like an off day and it was just something I wanted to talk about. And if you are somebody who's been going through it this fall... Uh, things have been happening all of a sudden. Uh, you've been through tremendous change or in a good or bad way, um, but especially in a bad way. Just know that you're not the only one and no matter what it is, your perspective matters. And if you have the choice to look at it with any perspective, try for it to be good. I know it's hard. Believe me, I know. <laughs> but I think it's a wonderful thing that we could just shed all the shit that's happened to us and start new. Anyway, that's it. Um, thank you so much for watching and have a great night.
拜。